What's going on guys? Asian Eyes White Dragon here. So a couple people asked me what I was running for sneak peek. Uh, this is just more for fun than anything. Uh, obviously this deck isn't going to be meta, but if you are playing the sneak peek, uh, yeah, you could consider running some of these cards. So uh, first off, one of the best cards, <laughs> that was it was pretty much meta. It was Ego Boost, increases the monster by a thousand once they declare an attack. Pretty darn good. And then uh, Murmur of the Forest. Now this card's pretty good. Um, it, it's, it's almost as good as Book. I mean, obviously Book's you know, quick play, plus you can target your monster, so it's more versatile. But remember the first, you know, it's just good to get it around, you know, your opponent's monster's effect. Like, if you want to, like, summon Judgment Dragon, you just, uh, Book Moon that Stardust first, and then you'll be good. And then we got Sound of the Retreat. Uh, it helped out when someone got out air traffic control against me. Uh, but I felt like, you know, if someone pulled something that was, like, gonna wreck my cookies, I was able to return my monsters. And then, uh, Heartfield, uh, Appeal, okay, when you take, uh, you know, damage from a direct attack. And, um, if they attack with Watt Cobra, you can, like, take, you know, obviously, um, pretty good. I'm um, also, you know, you could just sack their monsters later on. I only ran, like, two monsters that could sack, but it still was really good, obviously. And then, uh, Fiery Fever, now this card was amazing. Um, I wish I pulled more of these. Um, really good card. Uh, if you happen to pull those, definitely run those. Uh, Mirror Mail. It just lets you point for point, essentially. And, uh, Creepy Coney is pretty good. It's got that 1900 defense. Plus, if anyone has, like, uh, you know, Rabbi Dragon, um, on, you know, either, uh, you know, obviously you have to have your Rabbi Dragon out because it's, uh, normal monsters you control. There's also another, um, Rabbit, um, that has relatively good defense. That's 2050 defense. I didn't happen to pull it, but, uh, next up we got, uh, two Needle Sunfish. I really like this card. This card was good. Uh, you know, 1500 attack, and then once it gets destroyed, you target a monster and it loses 500 attack. So, pretty darn good. And then uh, one Gishki Beast just because it was 1500 attack. I wish I pulled another one so I can Gishki Beast for another one. And then uh, this card was amazing too. Wind Up Knight is basically like a full hum knight, block and attack. Um, but obviously only if they target a Wind Up Monster. Plus it was light, not that you know I could run Honest. Um, but yeah, pretty good. 1800 attack, pretty solid. And then this card was just terrible. Uh, I just really wanted a monster because everything else I had really didn't combo. <laughs> at all. So I had to throw in a shark stickers. Don't run this guy, but I kind of didn't have an option. And then uh, we got a plasma ball, and just attacks for 19, uh, I'm sorry, 900 directly, and then it dies, but you know, that's okay. I uh, just figured, you know, if I'm able to just attack directly, I can just finish some people off, because, you know, Watkin Cobra can help with that. And then uh, one Rye Rider. I wish I got multiple of him. He's really good, because once their opponent gets that Rabbi Dragon, it's kind of over. So Rye Rider, pretty good. You know, obviously when it's destroyed, then you, you know, that monster can attack. And then a DD Telepon, just 1800 defense. No explanation for that. This card was pretty good too. Uh, it can be 1800 attack for one turn. Or if I used um, that trap card that I was talking about earlier, um, Sound of the Retreat, you know, I can uh, return him, then I can summon him again, and he be still becomes, you know, that 1800 again. Pretty good. And then uh, we've got two Watt, King, uh, Watt Cobras. Uh, I wish it was Watt King Cobra, <laughs> but, um, Watt Cobra, pretty good, um, you know, I wish I didn't happen to get three out, only just pulled two, but a pretty good card, you know, attack directly, switch out another Watt Cobra, pretty nice, and then, uh, MVP definitely would be, uh, one of them would be Laval Lancelord, now I can, uh, steal their monster with the, uh, other trap, um, Heartfelt, and then, uh, you know, I could sack their monster for Laval, and he won't die, but he's 2100 attack, I can just normal summon him without any tributes, and, uh, he dies at the end of the turn, though, that's the downside. But he gets over a lot of stuff, so, very, very helpful. And then last card, definitely, number one MVP, Rabbi Dragon. Oh, it's pretty awesome, it's a rabbit, plus it's a dragon. <laughs> really cool card, um, definitely, um, really was meta. Like, if you happen to get two of these, run two. Um, because if you can, like, stall, uh, maybe you have, like, really good defenders. Once he's summoned, essentially, your opponent is in a really bad situation. The only card that really wasn't out to this was either, like, Double Ego Boost or a Fiery Fever. Like, this card is just amazing. <laughs> in Sneak Peek, obviously, not in, uh, you know, real meta, but this card might see some play. I think it's okay. It definitely has potential. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you are playing Sneak Peek, yeah, these, definitely run these. Um, I don't know about Watt Cobras just because they're not the greatest, but, uh, I'd say if you happen to be playing Sneak Peek, I definitely run, would run those. Um, uh, Rye Rider's pretty good, too. Um, the, the Wind Up Knight is pretty good. Needle Sunfish was okay, too. Um, uh, Murmur on the Force is okay, um, but nothing really has good attack and, like, low defense. 
that you really need to get over. But I mean, if you do happen to pull it, I would say run that. Um, another good card, Needle Sunfish. Honestly, this card was good. Um, yeah, but uh, mostly those were the pretty best cards that I got. Ego Boost is obviously really good too. So uh, yeah, if you pull any of these and you're trying to make a uh, deck for Sneak Peek, um, you know, only Photon Shockwave cards, uh, these are pretty much, you know, your options here. But I hope this helps you guys out and uh, shows you some of the cards in uh, Photon Shockwave. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing.